Shalom, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I have an important message about your leaders in the Christian church. Your bishops, pastors, reverends, and ministers are all lying to you and leading you straight to damnation. The truth is, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, according to Deuteronomy chapter 28. Jesus Christ is a black man with white wool hair, according to Revelation chapter 1, verses 14 and 15. We as the Israelites must keep the commandments in the faith of Christ to receive salvation, as it is written in Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. I've challenged and debated Christian authorities all over the world on these issues. Not one of them has been able to negate this truth. Your pastors have led you astray, worshiping pagan holidays and false gods, just as in the days of old. So join us on our mission to restore the true nation of Israel before the decree goes forth. The work is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Visit our website at israelunite.org or call us at 855-484-4842 to learn more and visit our schools. Shalom. But why are you standing here? Why are you standing here? Because it's given to you for the first three. That's the book of verse Kings, chapter 8 and verse 26. Right now, if they sin against thee, but there is no man that sinneth not. All of us have sinned. We sin, but we are in a repentance process. Our people wake up now today without even a thought of God to repent. They wake up just to do sin on oh, sin on oh, sin on oh, sin. See, God's not on their mind. Free. And they'll be angry with them. God was angry with us and what? And delivered them to the enemy. This is what happened. The result of sin, of us not keeping God's laws, was slavery. We was delivered here on the slave ship and our nationality was ripped from us. Our culture was ripped from us. And now we're doing black joy. Right now. Right now. Really think about it. Free. So that they carry them away captive. So they carried us away captive, slavery, free, unto the land of the enemy. Of the enemy's land. We was in Africa, living our best life there. No question. Because guess what? That's why they came. Because we was doing all types of folly and sin there. Free, foreign near. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, if we shall remember ourselves. Just like in uh, uh, Lion King, what did he tell Simba? Remember who you are. Right. That's what he's telling us now. Right. Remember who you are. Right. That's You're the right. greatest thing as long as you don't have seven and six. You don't want to be seven and six. Because the Bible has never been about equality. The Bible always That's had right. a ruling power and service. That's Guess right. where you fall at? Right. Rulers. Read. That's the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 7 and verse 6. Read. Are a holy people Free. unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. What? Above below. Above. Equal to. Above. All of us are created equal in America. Above. Free. All people. That, that's what the Bible that's says. Right. We're above all people. That's We've right. never been below. We do everything better than them. That's right. right. There's nothing. What? You tell me one thing that they done better than us. Bring it out. Bring it out. I wait. I guess conquered us. But why? They did that better we, than we, us. we enabled that behavior. Because guess what? We are the rulers. We allowed that to happen to us. So they're not better than us. They have certain skill sets, but guess what? You're still created better than us. Right. God has seen you to be. I didn't write that. Did you write it? Read it again. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Hey brother, hey, I got a question. He, he's an he's a inspiring designer showing that he does everything better. Oh, oh, perfect. Who, who designs better clothes than us? Bring it out. 
Oh, the most high. No doubt. The most high. No doubt. So what attire do we supposed to be wearing according to the most high since you said it? Hey, no. Because when we, if you say things, you must back it up. Right. You, if you're going to be a designer, you better do the unrighteous things. People hate for me to say this, but we're so all supposed to be naked. Where'd that come from in the Bible? Right. Really? Uh, oh, wait, wait. Look, look at the sisters. Look at the sisters. Yeah. They're like, whoa. I don't want to be out here naked. He said, well, the most high created us all to be all right. naked in the first place, and we all matured to be naked until we all grow consciousness. So once we grew consciousness, that's when we all decided to be something. Be something what? Covered up? Something other than what he wanted us to be. So you're saying we're, right now we're something other than what we're supposed to be? Well, do we all sing? Yes. So what? What is your sin? Okay, I'll ask the sister. The attire that you're wearing is that according to God or not? It's not according. It's not according to God. So does God require you to wear a tire? Yes. What tire? Modest. Modest dresses and what? Skirts. Yes, but you just said, you just said that God created us to be what? We created us to be naked? Yes. You think Eve was naked in the garden? You think Adam was naked in the garden? That's what you want that? Yes. No, that was just to cover their sin right. because they had committed sin, so they had to do a sacrifice. What about that, before that? Though? What do you mean? That's the beginning. That's the beginning of all time. Real? When you say Yo. before that, you trying to do cosmos and shit. No, that no, is no, not no, according no, to the Bible. No, no. Right before they covered up themselves with the with the rose with the with the with the branches. Okay. What were they? They they had no sin at that point. They oh. were. And you, they were. Right. They weren't naked. They they weren't. No. Hey, so hey. give me numbers. Um, number six. Huh? I thought they were naked. Okay, I got you. I'm gonna show you what they were. Hey. It's the book of Exodus chapter 32 and verse 25. Yeah. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, it says the people were I'll naked. Right back. Well, no, right no, 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 no. I'm reading My your point. question. Right, right. I mean your answer. So don't leave. Read it again. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, what? but Aaron had made them naked unto their shame Read. among their enemies. Read. And Moses stood in the gate of the camp and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto us, unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together. The ones who were on God's side, he brought them in. The nakedness was what? They had went and committed sin. Hey. That's why they were naked. So they were shameful. So the ones, okay, you got to come over here. I got to make an atonement. That's what the Levite's job was, what? to make the sins for, I mean, to make the atonements for the children of Israel. What? That's what it was for. So when you say naked, that's what was going on in the, in the beginning. We just didn't know the different... Uh, you're you're right. I, I agree. Nation is you. And finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord.